Hi YouTube, it's me, Seems Like Tracy. Welcome to my video. I know I haven't been here for a while, but I'm back again. <laughs> so welcome to Seems Like Tracy, where I make dolls, I sew clothes, I do crafts, um, I do a lot of things. So I just wanna welcome you guys back to my channel and I uh, hope that you like this video. I have not been greatly inspired lately to uh, make any dolls, but I'm getting back into it. So in 2019, I stopped doing my doll business. I took that year off and I'm still debating on 2020 if I want to continue. So I may end up doing it, but I'm not exactly sure. But in the meantime, what I have been doing is uh, just a little sewing here and there, mending some clothes that I've been needing to mend for a while. And I also want to show you my little uh, shopping haul, I guess. Not really a haul, it's just a couple of things I picked up at Joanne Fabrics today. So happy. Uh, you know today they had this, the uh, patterns, the simplicity patterns for 99 cents. So, of course, I went in Joanne with my coupons. And I didn't buy a lot of patterns. But they also had the thread, buy three, get three free. And although I didn't really need it and I didn't need to spend any money, I went ahead and bought some thread. And I buy the big cones because uh, I can uh, load a whole bunch of bobbins and I, and I have a cup that I put my cones in. So I got like uh, three of these uh, Sherlock cones, cones, excuse me. And there you go. I got I got them in different colors. You can't see all that. What are those? Now they in purple. I think that's purple or the black brown. I can't see under the light. And let's see what else I got here. Oh, and this one. White one. So I always get black and white because you can never have too much black and white thread. Because if you don't have any other color, you can always make the white work or always make the black work. So remember that. And let's see what else I have in here. Oh. I forgot about the gray. Gray is another one of those colors that if you don't have a right color thread, gray can put a little, um, it kind of accents whatever you have. It'll make it look good. So I got all of these and I'm really happy about that. Oh, let's see what else I picked up. Oh, the zipper. <laughs> I have not seen this. I guess I don't go shopping enough, but this was a pretty um, lace zipper. If you can see that, look at that can go on the outside of an outfit or on a bag. This is a 22 inch, um, 22 inch zipper. It's so pretty, I just couldn't pass it up. Even if I don't use it anytime soon, I'm still, it's so pretty. And I actually do have a jumpsuit pattern, which uh, this pattern is actually one that I bought last week. And I'm considering putting that zipper on here. This is a McCall's pattern. I don't know if you can see that, it's a, uh, McCall's 7908. And if I do start sewing this, I'll try to record it so you guys can see. But back to today. All right, so today I picked up my Simplicity 8652. And it's just a skirt because I do love a good skirt. Look at that. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, I got a size H5, which I'm not really sure it'll fit. Hopefully it'll fit. Um, the measurements are about right, but you never know. I can always adjust it. <laughs> and then I got the Simplicity 8299, which is for a couple of pair of pants and a skirt, which I love. I, the pants to me are so easy to sew. I don't know why everybody doesn't make their own pants. They're really easy. And this just has like an elastic uh, band around it. So I love her little pants there, but I, I like the I like mine a little longer. But you can make shorts and or a skirt out of it, or I could make shorts out of it if I wanted to. But I, I love patterns. <laughs> and this is the last pattern that I got. This is Simplicity Eight Nine Two One, and I think you'll like this. It is this top. Look at that. Isn't that cute? I don't know if I can show you. I like this top here. And also, like, I like all of them, actually. I just thought they were really cute. And with this pants, look, this top with a pair of these pants, 
because the pants almost pretty much look the same. Her pants on here and these big pants here. So yeah, I'm gonna have fun making that. Hopefully I'll be looking all fly, you know. <laughs> Let's see. Oh, I did pick up some fabric. Um, I kind of picked up something that I liked when I first just glanced at it. It was like, oh, I love that. It'll make a cute blouse. It made the blouse I just showed you, which I think I will do that. Uh, this is, uh, they had the Calico print on sale. So this is actually a uh, cotton fabric. It's so pretty, look at that. Look, I think it make such a cute little shirt, especially in this, this little shirt here with this. It would be nice. Or I could even do the skirt off the other one. Look at that. I could do that skirt. I don't have enough for both, but I have enough for at least, or actually, maybe I do. I'll have to look. I actually know I only have one and a half yards of that, so it's not going to work. <laughs> All right, let's see. Oh, I picked up this because I think I'm going to make me some butterfly dolls <laughs> or dolls with some butterfly accents. So this was the first one. It's a pretty blue butterflies. Look at that. Blue butterfly, butterfly print. Because I mean, who doesn't love butterflies? I just <laughs> I like to say that butterflies are kind of like my spirit animals. It's between the butterflies and dragonflies. Because when I was a kid, the dragonflies used to follow me around. Go figure. Uh, and I used to chase them too. But uh, but as an adult. I don't know if it's because of my natural hair or, you know, I will go walking in the park and butterflies will like fly around my head or come and fly in my face. And so I like to like to call them a spirit animal. <laughs> okay, here is another butterfly print. It's basically the same, but this one is in purple. So there is that. Hopefully you can see this. I'm just kind of holding it up here. And I'm going to make the, um, you know, the bodies of the dolls. Maybe the legs. They're going to be, I hope that I can get like two dolls out of each. You never know. Maybe just one. Who knows? And then, as if I don't have enough butterflies, <laughs> I decided to get, get it in blue. Look at this blue. It's got like this little iridescent uh, silver, well, the little silver on it. Look at that. Very nice. So cute. I got a little more of this because it was a little less. Although it was 60% off, everything they had was $10.99 a yard. Come on, Joanne Fabrics. You give me a 60% off coupon and then you remove all the $7.99, all the $4.99s, and the only thing left on the shelf are the $8.99 and the $10.99. No. Anyway. <laughs> okay, and this is the last one that I got today. Of course, that's another butterfly print. I love butterflies, and I think, you know, who knows, I might end up being a butterfly lady. <laughs> so, with butterfly dolls. Look at this. This one is in a gray, you know, it's kind of like a monochrome. Very pretty. I just thought, well, just, this is going to make really nice dolls. So, yeah, I like that. And then last but not least out of my shopping haul for today... I got these little thimbles. Uh, I'm gonna have to give you guys a what's in my sewing bag. Uh, some of my tools. I know I've shown my tools in the past, but I really like these thimbles. So I bought a pack because I have my regular thimbles that I lose constantly. Um, I need something to put on my fingers to keep them from getting sore. I don't know if you can see. I have like little spots from from the needles constantly sticking me in my hand when I can't find my thimbles, I try wrapping it or something. So I will be using these, I'm so happy. I could have got these years ago. I don't know why I didn't. I think I was looking for like one of the leather ones, which I may still get, but they're like $16. I'm like, Shh, you know, somebody needs to send me one. <laughs> so, but that is what I did today. Uh, last week I bought me some more of this uh, brown thread. I don't know if you can see that. It looks kind of gold here, but it's really just like a light brown because I have like lighter dolls that I had not um, sewn because I didn't really have the right color thread. So 
that thread comes in handy and they actually don't have that in the cone size they have something similar and I have that but that thread is um, like it's kind of weak like when I use it which I forgot to get the wax I was looking for wax and I forgot to strengthen some of my threads when I use it and I think that's all I have for you guys today um, I'm going to show you turquoise I have been <laughs> twisting up her hair over the past couple of weeks, she's just been sitting in her chair with twisted hair. And I actually meant to take it out, but I did not. So, you know, it didn't really curl. <laughs> but I just wanted to give her a different look. Because every girl likes to change up her hair every once in a while. And although I don't do children's videos, I do make dolls. But not necessarily for kids. So, uh, thank you guys for watching my video. Um, please like and give me a thumb and well if you like giving me a thumbs up <laughs> please give me a thumbs up and please feel free to subscribe thank you guys for watching and I will see you again next week bye